in four days, 30,000 runners will line up for the 119th Boston Marathon, the mecca of the running world. Expected to finish near the top is a man who grew up in Fresno. The marathon of life has been bumpy and trying for Fernando Cabada, but he's never felt better than right now. Fernando Cabada wants you to know his name. Wants you to know nothing in his life's been as easy as he makes running look. Really wants you to know where he's from. I'm here to showcase our belly. I want to represent us. I want to be a hero. Let's start with his name. He's a junior, but his father, Fernando Cabada Sr., was not around growing up. In and out of prison for drug and gang charges. His mother was poor, but tried to give him a better life. When Cabada was in the third grade, she moved the family from Fresno to Clovis to steer him away from trouble. I always felt that the world owed me something. I went with the chip on my shoulder. I felt that, hey, you owe me this or you owe me that. You don't know how I grew up. When Cabada started winning races in elementary school, he experienced the emotion of pride for the first time. I thought that was a pretty cool feeling, you know. I never really was good at anything. I couldn't really catch a ball or, you know, no one picked me to play on their basketball team or anything like that. So, yeah, I got a niche for it and, and I kept going with it. At Buchanan High School, another first. Two coaches provided the influence and support he never got from his own father. I think one of the biggest things that uh, we gave him a lot of love, you know, a lot of love that he just needed beyond his mom and, and his immediate family. I think that was important. The Bears coaches fostered more than just love, unleashing a talent that would turn Cabada into a six-time Valley champion with a full ride to the University of Arkansas. He was always a racer. I mean, you put him out there and the you know, gun goes off, man, He's, he, he wants to compete. Entering high school, I never even thought uh, remotely about college. I mean, I knew no one that went to college. Being a part of uh, the Buchanan High School cross country team, I mean, they kind of brought the best out of me. Lacking guidance and confidence, Cabada changed schools four times before winning seven NAIA national championships at a tiny school in Virginia. The roller coaster continued after school, breaking American records in signing professional contracts, then going broke and twice briefly retiring. By late 2014, after seven years living and training in Boulder, Colorado, Cabada moved back to Fresno, where it all started. I felt like ever since leaving high school, I'd just been on one big adventure, just trying to find myself mostly. I felt like I was running all my life from something, and I was. I wanted to come back to the Valley. I, I think a lot of people leave a, a situation they may have thought was bad at first, and they don't want to come back. I'm not running from anything, I'm here, and uh, I want to do a lot of good here. Cabada's been chronicling his training the past few months in a YouTube series called The Road to Boston. The self-described Central Valley boy possesses a drive and passion for home that shines. I've never put as much heart and soul into something as I have these, these past weeks. And all through my life, and I tell people where I'm from, they have that, oh, you're from Fresno. A lot of people talk down in our city, on my city, I and mean, I think we got everything here. People are going to be representing Kenya, representing Flagstaff, Arizona, San Diego, and then there's someone from Fresno, California. At 32 years old, Cabada's long legs have never carried his six-foot frame faster or further. He hit a personal best time at the Berlin Marathon in September and set a course record in winning the San Francisco Half Marathon last month. If I was to get third at the Boston Marathon, I wouldn't be surprised. I know, I know what to do. I won't be bashful. I won't be afraid. I'm not afraid of success. I'm not shocked. He has an, an inside motivation that most people lack. Um, it, it, it is very, very special. The thing that I'm most proud of him, he had a lot of bad things in his life. What he did to make it and to come through and be a man about a lot of stuff is really good. It's important for me for people to know my story because they're going to relate to it and once they can relate to it, they can know that it's possible to do great things. Anybody who who's just down on life. You know, the chips are down or they got that, that, that bad hand of cards, you know, they got doubt and um, just always staying in it, you know, like just not giving up. Now the ultimate goal for Kabata is to qualify for the 2016 Olympics in Rio. In 2012, he came in seventh at the Olympic trials. The top three make it. What a remarkable story. Really impressive guy. Really enjoyed talking to him and this is the second time he's going to run in the marathon in Boston. Mm -hmm. He did it two years ago and finished 16th, wasn't happy about it. 
He's thinking top five, top ten this time. But around. he's really feeling his stride right now, you say. Oh, the best he's ever run. That'll Definitely. be exciting to watch. All right, Nick.